We all love sitting outside in the summertime, and you know, there can be pusky mosquitoes bothering you and your guests. Well, I'm with Brenda mm -hmm. from Garland Nursery, and Brenda, you have a great ideas about how we can maybe keep the mosquitoes away from our parties. Yes, all of these wonderful plants that have lots of essential oils, and um, some of them have lemony fragrance. They're super for, for um, repelling mosquitoes. The lemongrass here is what they cook with in Thai cooking. Um, and it's going to like full sun. Um, it's not a winter hardy um, plant, so you'd have to either bring it inside or replant next year, but they do grow pretty quickly. Um, lemon verbena oh, right nice here, one. also not winter hardy, um, but has that lemon scent to it, and you can make tea out of it, so that's a plus for that one. Um, Pretty lavender. Miracle. Oh, lavender, yeah. Ooh, sorry. Beautiful. No, that's <laughs> okay. Around. Lavender, of course, we all love lavender, and look at that gorgeous flower. It's so and those pretty. essential oils um, will repel the mosquitoes. Marigolds, specifically the Mexican marigolds, um, they're super in your garden space for other, uh, other insects as well, but, um, but mosquitoes don't like them. And then um, the cat mint, um, I've heard other mints mentioned too, but um, cat mint I think is really pretty and a nice ornamental, so you might be likely to plant it around the perimeter of, of um, your area that you're wanting to protect. And that was something um, that you want to do is have these things kind of oh, along right the edge. Oh, right around the deck of, or yep. right around where mm -hmm. you're sitting. So perfect that a lot of these are herbs and grow great in containers. Um, yeah, lemon thyme nice. is another one. Oh, so again, the that's lemon beautiful. scent, anything that you can find a, a lemon scented form of. Um, and then rosemary. Um, we all love rosemary. There's creeping and upright rosemary. Um, and this one is called Irene and they like full sun. Um, and they also, uh, in what I was learning about the mosquito thing, um, burning um, also helps. And so I was thinking, wouldn't this be great as a skewer for like your, um, your fish or kebabs, your vegetables, yeah. kebabs on the grill, because sure. that's going to get that, that aroma out there and, and hopefully keep the mosquitoes away during the barbecue. Ah, and look at <laughs> beautyberry. Now that's kind of like a new one on the list this mm -hmm. year. So mm -hmm. what about the beautyberry? So, um, Beautyberry, they were specifically talking about the, um, it's a Calicarpa is its botanical name, Calicarpa Americana, which is a uh, native um, to the southeast area. And um, it was kind of a folk remedy for a lot of years. Um, farmers would take and they'd cut branches and they'd squish the leaves and then put it in the harness of the horse oh. to keep away flies and mosquitoes and different things. So um, so they've done some scientific research on it and found three compounds that, that actually repel mosquitoes. One of them has, the, I'm not going to pronounce it, because it, but it has the Cala Carpa part in the in the name oh, of it. Yeah, so they're still, they're still finding out lots about it and whether they can market it as an actual spray type of thing but yeah um, but you do need you do need to, to crush squish them. them yeah okay. you do need to crush the leaves and I you see you mm -hmm. have a cedar so what about cedar um, so this is um, western red cedar which is um, native to our area and um, this is the one specifically mentioned um, it has an oil an essential oil in it that also um, repels mosquitoes and there is a product on the market we don't happen to have it but it is a cedar cedar oil product that you can put out to spray in the area to repel mosquitoes but you could also I would assume burn some of this sure. wood on a fire or something like that as well Mm -hmm. And then what about water features or just maybe excess water in the garden? Sure. So one of the best ways to, to keep from having so many mosquitoes is to get rid of anything, any water that isn't necessary mm -hmm. to have. Um, make sure that you empty out um, things like tire swings that might um, catch water, um, different buckets and basins. Sure. Um, and if you store water outside or you have a rain barrel, make sure that it's it's sealed up so the mosquitoes can in, get in there to lay eggs. But if you have some um, ornamental um, water features that you want to leave out like bird baths, fountains, um, ponds, that type of thing, you can use um, the mosquito dunks which are these or the mosquito bits and the active ingredient is um, bacillus thuringiensis um, which is a bacteria and so um, very good biological mosquito right. control and it's safe for very fish safe. and pets okay. and birds and all of that type of thing. Ah, mm -hmm. Well, you know, there is a lot of things to help with deterring mosquitoes around your house and your garden and your friends when they're coming out to party. So if you have any other questions, mm -hmm. come out to Garland, talk to Brenda and her mm -hmm. staff, and you can find out some of these plants to decorate your patio. Thanks so much. Thanks for all the research. Thanks, Judy.